Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make your own fisheye lens for under $20 for any digital camera just about that has this kind of lens. And uh, most of the stuff you can pick up at a hardware store or even find in your own house, whatever you can find. But this is what the finished product should look like. I use PVC pipe, I'm not going to explain that in the video because this is a little bit more complicated with sizing and cutting and um, casing and stuff like that. And that will take forever to explain because it took me about three hours to make, including with the PVC pipe and uh, the foam and everything. But the first thing that you're going to need is a digital camera. And not, unless, this is not, there's not going to be a PVC pipe unless you actually put it in here. But basically what I did, I got PVC pipe like this. So it goes like to here. And then I got a little toilet paper roll and then I did what you should be doing and then I attached it to that. So, But anyways... First, you're going to want to get a peephole for your door. You can get this at a Home Depot or a McClendon or something like that. Any hardware store should have them there. And um, basically, just get a decent sized one that will probably fit, um, that you could just look into, you know, like, like so. And, um, you know, that works. Just pick that up. You're going to also need, that's pretty much it. You're going to need duct tape for sure. You're also going to need a empty toilet paper roll thing, one of those cardboard toilet paper roll type things or whatever and a rubber band alright so the first thing that you're going to want to do is get a ruler and measure out the diameter of your lens of your camera and then um, basically once you've measured the diameter of that get your toilet paper thing and cut it cut cut it down the middle and then what you do you you get you get your diameter measurement and you fold over the toilet paper so that way it's the same uh, diameter as your camera lens so basically you could just get the thing cut it through the middle and then fit it over your lens so it fits like this it's pretty simple um then it's actually pretty easy from there make sure and then if you if it can't fit if your people can't fit in the toilet paper thing like this you can either put duct tape on the inside of the toilet paper roll thing that doesn't hit the the end of the lens and then cut that to that fit this in here and then it'll fit on the camera and your thing snugly or you could do what I did got PVC pipe stuck it in here that fit and then this also fit inside of the PVC pipe it's kinda complicated there but just do what you can though to get your lens to fit and the peephole to fit inside of it then you just get a rubber band cut your rubber band in half and then tape it on this and this with the duct tape till it can fit around the camera and then turn your camera on It takes forever for this thing to turn on. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, like this. And get it, get the rubber band, stretch it out like that, right? Put it over your camera like this. As you can see, it's kind of far out. You are going to have a little rubber band like this blocking it, but then what you're going to want to do is zoom in as far as you can until you're happy with the look of it. So. Um, looks like that. This is what it should look like. A little bit big, but I mean, it'll hold up. And if you have another person skating for you or recording for you, hold the thing like this because sometimes the rubber band can get the thing to move around a little bit. So get it centered as much as you can. Do whatever you want to do. But um, you might have to resize your toilet paper thing. You might have to put PVC like I did. And uh, if your camera can't focus while it's zoomed in all the way. Put your camera on macro mode, and if your camera does not have macro mode and it cannot zoom in all the way, then you cannot, I don't think you can do this, but whatever. Um, thanks for watching, I know this is kind of a complicated tutorial, but um, it's, it's pretty simple for the most part. Thank you for watching, see you guys later, comment, rate, and subscribe.